Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. Today in After Effects we are going to do some sound syncing. Okay. First you need a comp or composition. Then you will just add a solid. That's easiest. Let's make it black. Press OK. Then you need a sound file. I'll just find one on my in my desktop. Let's take this one. No, that. Then you'll drag it into the comp. Now you see the sound file is here. Then we'll add an adjustment layer. Let's put it there and uh, effect trap code. Soundkeys. This is a plugin you can download uh, from the internet. <laughs> um, just press that, and then you'll audio layer the sound file that you use. Then you press range, and you'll find out like wait. Yes, here. Um, here you see. As the music goes, here it's some add some a little bit, a little bit, and here it goes. And over here it's the bass, and over here it's the brighter sounds. So I will be syncing with the bass here. You take this corner, like here, and the other one. Here, then you take from this is which values the output will be. I will like to take 100 to let's say 300, and yeah, let's apply that. Now you'll see that the adjustment layer had will have sound keys over here. Uh, lots of keyframes and we'll press just here to check out wait yeah yeah here now you see the values going up and down with the music and uh, then I sh Let's add a uh, lens flare to the solid that we made. Effect, video copilot, optical flares. Let's uh, make it load here. Yeah, and we'll just place it here, over here in the corner. I will not do a custom lens flare right now. And then we'll do over here and effect optical flares. And then we'll click on the brightness. We'll wait. We'll first you do like that because it's easier then. Take, click the brightness, animation, add expression. Take this little thing and drag it to output. Now you see over here with uh, the adjustment layer effect on the range 1 here uh, yeah that output you'll see that the lens will get brighter and darker and brighter and darker with the music yeah and that's all you need to know you can experiment with the values and you can use it on uh, everything, kind of. If you got any questions, then like message me or whatever. If you want any more tutorials, just message me with that too. 